Imagine waking up to a sky painted orange, air so thick with smoke that stepping outside feels like inhaling fire. That's what millions across the world, from Canada to Spain to Russia, are experiencing right now. In 2025, in what has become the second worst wildfire season on record. So, what's turning ordinary fires into ferocious landscape scaling infernos? Wildfires need three things. Fuel, spark and the right weather. Climate change makes two of these worse. A hotter atmosphere sucks more water out of plants and soil, leaving landscapes bone dry. That means forests and grasslands ignite more easily and burn harder. The fire season is also getting longer. Across much of the world, there are now more days each year with the hot, dry, windy conditions that fires thrive on. The last few years tell the story clearly. 2023 was the hottest year on record and Canada's boreal forest burned on a scale never seen before, sending smoke all the way to the US. Now in 2025, Canada is once again breaking records with millions of hectares already scorched. Europe too has faced back-to-back -back summers of fire from Greece's largest ever blaze to repeated wildfires in Spain and Portugal during 40 degree heat waves. It's simple, really. A hotter planet means bigger, longer and deadlier fire seasons. Now, fire has always been a part of nature. Indigenous communities once used controlled burns to keep forests healthy. But in the 20th century, countries like the US adapted a put-out-every-fire policy. It sounded safe, but over time, it let dead wood and undergrowth pile up. Now, when a fire escapes, it has far more fuel to feed on. Add to that the growth of neighborhoods in fire-prone areas known as the Wildland Urban Interface or WUI. In the US alone, more than 44 million homes now sit in these zones. More people in harm's way means more sparks and much bigger losses when fires spread. When heat, fuel and people collide, we get the mega fires of today. These fires are so powerful, they sometimes make their own weather, sending up giant smoke clouds, throwing embers miles ahead, and even creating lightning storms. And the science is no longer in doubt. Human-driven warming is making fire weather more common and more extreme. So what can be done? There is no one solution. But experts point to a set of steps. Cut greenhouse gas emissions to slow warming. Use controlled burns to reduce fuel and forest. Thin overly dense woodlands make homes and power grids more fire resistant and plan safer communities in risky areas. None of these will erase the risk completely, but together they can turn the today's fire crisis into challenges that we can live with. Fires are not strangers. They have always been the part of the natural world. But in today's hotter climate, packed forests and expanding suburbs, they behave differently. They burn bigger, faster and deadlier. The real question is whether we can act fast enough to stop the next spark from becoming the next catastrophe.